you know that, I know that, we both know it. Okay, so this view paint is of Gemma, who I believe is meant to be a Gemini? I guess that makes sense just from the name. But yeah, she's a Gemini, I guess. And um, from what I've heard, I haven't heard very much about zodiac signs, honestly. From what I've heard, Gemini is meant to be kind of like not wishy washy, not like it. It's hard to explain exactly what I mean, but I mean like they're meant to be sort of like ambiverts. I feel like they're the true ambiverts since they have the whole double thing going on, I guess. And from a lot of like the videos I've seen about this, just randomly. So I guess she's meant to be an ambivert, which makes sense because from what I've seen of her from one trailer specifically, it was I think a trailer for like the book series or like the finale of the show where I first met her. And um, what it was is that she was sort of on Wish World as they call it, they call Earth Wish World. Just as a little note there, so on Wish World, she has to grant someone's wish. I think that's the storyline of the Earth thing, and she's kind of freaking out about it because she's like, "I know, I'm the last one. If I don't get it right, then we're all gonna die or something." I don't really know what the urgency of it is, but apparently, so she's freaking out about it. But then she's also very confident later on. Which could be ambivert, it could be a little bit of a flip-flop personality, but I'm going to go for the ambivert. But I'm not really sure how that makes sense, because I feel like ambiverts are meant to be like neutral. They, they like hanging inside, reading, all that, but they can also like go out and have fun and parties and things with other people. But not like they become an introvert and an extrovert. I don't think that's how it works, but maybe I'm wrong, I know nothing about this stuff. Um... Ah, oh, these eyelashes. I I think I did pretty well. I think I found out like a good style for these eyelashes because I used to try and do like how I would do normal eyelashes with just lines, but that wouldn't work for the blocky style because that makes it too linear. But I think that what I got here was good. Unfortunately, I'll only be using it for another episode and that's it, which is kind of scary, honestly. <laughs> that's actually scaring me. On to her character design. Um, honestly, Gemma's character design isn't terrible. I wouldn't call it terrible, but it's not the best that I've seen. Like the beach cover-up that she wears, I think it's very odd, and it kind of doesn't go with her outfit. I feel like either like the creators wanted something special something to put the star motifs on other than the earrings as you can see there's a cover up that's sort of transparent and glowing and it has all the stars on it or on the shirt i'm guessing the shirt but you can't be sure anyway so with this i think that it could have been better like i like the shirt i just think the cover up is a weird look with it because they're very pointy sleeves and like very like open collar and it just doesn't look good. <laughs> like I'm not sure exactly why they decided to go for this because otherwise the character design is quite nice. Although you can't see much of a character from it which is kind of the point but well you win some you lose some. With like I think this show doesn't really understand character design well enough which is strange since disney on its own has actually really good character design for a lot of their shows and things but for some reason this one just didn't make that cut i think it's probably because it was meant to be like a children's show which is meant to be for books so they sort of like eh, 
say it's only for like a season until we can sell the books to the small children. Which I can understand, but at the same time it's a bit like, if you made it a bit better you could have also made a show which would have given you more money because that's kind of what Disney wants at this point. Looking at you Disney, you get all the money. Um, for character design for this character, I feel like they should have pushed the ambivert a little bit more. The sort of like, maybe she... Maybe make her hair so crazy or whatever, like... Like how Leona's hair is kind of crazy. And then maybe make her outfit a little bit more like, tame. Like, oh, she's just inside, she's wearing her pyjamas or something. And, like, not in a weird way, but yeah. Sort of try and mix the two together, something like that. In this picture, she seems very extroverted. She's sort of smiling. She's outside. I don't know. Okay. And honestly, for all the characters, it could have done a little bit more to just drive it home. Especially with Scarlet, since she's meant to be sort of... Uh, I don't know how to say this, like, the bad girl of the group, I guess. Is that a thing? But, yeah. She's meant to be that, and she just doesn't come off as it, because she's wearing a tutu. A tutu. And I, I feel like they could have been going for something like an interesting look. Like a pink goth style, which I think is actually a thing in Japan, in Japan I think. I think that's a style in Japan. But they just didn't like drive it home. They didn't like emphasize it in any way, so it just looks like a tutu. It looks like a tutu, okay? And I think that's one of the problems, honestly, with like this look. Like, they're not doing enough with the characters to make them interesting. But they are, but they're not. Mm. It's hard to explain, and character design can be hard, especially if you're on a lower budget, which this show probably was just considering that it only lasted for a season and was just to promote the books what i think is interesting actually about this show is how it was made to promote books i just feel like that's something i know but i don't know it's just something very strange to me like this series wasn't a series it was a book promotion basically strange also one would expect that the books would be like before the show right because i'm not sure if the um like when the series stands in the timeline is it like are the books a prequel are the books like what comes after this show because i feel in the finale episode which i have watched now and it was interesting i guess um, in the finale episode, it was sort of like, final battle, which I thought would be in the books, you know? So they have all, like, the character, character building, quote unquote, and they'd have all of that in the show, and they sort of have, like, the more gritty stuff in the books, but apparently not. I don't know about that, but yeah. Okay, let's go on to the drawing, because, like, that's sort of the important part. <laughs> um, like, I have to say that the, um, the highlights of his skin I made a little bit too pink. Like, it doesn't really fit with the rest of his skin tone. <laughs> and I don't like it at all, but I think it's alright. Like, overall, with this drawing, I'm kind of proud of it. I just feel like it, like, captures what I was going for. For the entire basically like series this is what i was going for hmm. and to think about it the series is ending yes it's ending there's only one character left adora and after that i'm sort of i don't know <laughs> because like quite honestly i have not much planned i didn't plan anything out um, which is a bad idea, and I don't even know how to do a camera setup yet, if I want to do traditional videos. Um, which I might. I feel like I should try and do some traditional videos, just to see how it would look. And see if those are something that you guys would like better. Um, yeah. <laughs> 
there's not much I can say honestly about the series. I feel like it started off as something like a project that I wanted to do when I was more into the show, which was a long time ago. So yeah, and I wasn't even into it then. I was just sort of like, these characters are glittery. I want to know how to draw glitter. Let me do that. It was less of a I like the show and more of a eh, it exists kind of thing. So I guess like if in the end this sh- series is ending, I'm kind of happy about it because I feel like this series is sort of weighing down on me a bit because I didn't know enough about the characters and stuff and I sort of was waffling the entire time like I am now. <laughs> Anyway, it's sort of scary how there's only one character left to do from the series, and then we're basically done. It's very strange. It's been 12 weeks of this, almost. It's been 12 weeks of this series for me. 12 weeks of drawing these characters, and I think I am ready to move on to something a little bit different, hopefully. Not as, sort of... I don't like the limiting that this series did and I do want to try something different later on so yeah if you have suggestions please leave them in the comments I'm kind of floundering uh thank you for watching as well because I feel like in this series a lot of the people who were watching didn't really know what was going on so thanks please subscribe do all that youtube stuff Bye!